Hey everyone! Okay, so I'm back here for another uh, doll vlog. This one is pretty cool. It's kind of different than any of the other dolls that I really own. Um, yeah, so you know, guys might be aware that last year they released, uh, Disney, sorry, released um, the Disney Princess Couture line, and this year they're doing the villains, so it's like the villain uh, designer collection, it's saying. Um, so yeah, so every week for like, I think like two months, um, every Monday they're releasing um, a new doll from the collection. Um, I got the first doll. Uh, I just went down there. I forgot that they were being released, and one of my friends from work was just like, oh, uh, did you see that, like, that doll's being released today? And I kind of forgot what he was talking about, so we went there at lunch, and I just ended up buying it. Um, so yeah, I got Maleficent. First off, I'll show you... Oh, oh yeah, okay, so they're done in, like, limited releases, and the princess ones, I remember last year, each doll had, like, a different release number, and they were pretty hard to get, like, they sold out really quickly, but, um, this one, every single doll has the same edition size, and, which I think is, like, 16,000, which, you know, is, like, that's quite a bit for a doll that is at this price point, like, I would want to think, especially from, like, a huge company, but that's just me. So, anyways, um, the girl there said that, like, they were, they weren't really sure what to expect in terms of, like, people buying them. Um, the princess ones, they said they were just, like, they were expecting that amount of people and, like, them to be sold out. But this one, I think that they were, like, almost trying to, like, overhype it. They, like, had this thing where you had to go in the morning and, like, get a number to come back at a certain time and be able to buy it. But, like, I didn't do that. I just went at lunch and bought one. Um, and there was, like, lots left, but, um... Yeah, she said that down in the States it got pretty crazy, but in Canada it's just kind of a different market. So, anyways, when you bought it, they bring them out in the back, from the back, and they come in, like, their own special bag with, like, ribbon handles with the artwork all over it, which is very pretty, and, like, the damask pattern on the side. And then they also come with, like, a box over the display case, because all the dolls come in their own display case. So this is this one, it says Original Goth Maleficent, so that's her, and then on the back there's just like different um, things about the doll and like different um, like points about the doll that like they want to mention, like her signature horn style, horn like hairstyle, uh, her leatherette bustier with um, tool ruffle trim and matching gloves, and then the jagged velvet cloak lined with purple satin and gem closure at the front. Also a crystal ball staff with claw details. Fit and flare velvet skirt with colored gores. Not sure what that is. And uh, pallid green skin tone. So she's quite the doll. Um, they also have like really cool eyelashes and stuff. So this just like slips over top of the acrylic case and then there's like a base which is attached to the case that the doll's in. So I'll show her to you now. Uh, and here she is. So hopefully you guys can see it. I have not taken her out of the case for, I don't know, I just think that it, she doesn't need to be and I don't really want to like mess her up or anything. So she is quite impressive. I wasn't knowing what to expect with this doll, but I was really, really impressed. The promo shots definitely don't do them justice until you have one of your own. Um, you know, like her clothing, the detailing on her clothing is really amazing. It's much higher quality than I originally thought it would be. Um, the price point for it is about $90 Canadian. I think it's a little bit less than the States, obviously. Um, but yeah, she is really pretty and definitely worth the money. I wouldn't, I don't really know about the other ones. There were a few that I wanted to get, but, um, we won't be getting those now. Um, only downside... To this doll that I would say would be that the horn like hair there's these like they kind of like I don't know you could say that it's part of it but there's like these weird parts on the back I don't know if you guys can see that or not but it's just like where they had like all this excess hair and they just wrapped it around the forms and then they put it like little elastics around it and just cut off the excess like I think that if you're paying $90 for a doll it shouldn't be like that it should just be a lot more like 
amazing looking. Like, this doll is already amazing enough. Like, why wouldn't they just go that extra minute and, like, or extra little bit and just put the really amazing finishing touches on it? And then, you know, like, I would have spent $150 on it if it was, like, oh my god, right? Um, from what I can tell, she is fully articulated with her arms and her head. I'm not 100% sure about her waist and legs, but I'm guessing that it is. Um, and then the other thing, I guess you could take her like off of this backing and stuff, but um, cause like there's this plastic thing that keeps her held up, which I'm guessing might just be for shipping, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, yeah, but like her dress and everything is like attached to the base. So it's like, there's really no point in taking it out of the box. But yeah, she comes with the stand, which, you know, it's just like plastic, and then it says her name. And then this just like lifts off if you wanted to take it out. Um, and then on the back there's just like, um, a certificate of authenticity, and then there's the number on it. So mine's like number 9594 of 13,000. Sorry, it is a 13,000 number, and it looks like it's just in like a little card or something. So yeah, that is Maleficent. Um, I'll just do like a little bit close up of her face and see it. I wish that she was facing head on in the box. That's the only other drawback that I found of her, but you know, that's easily fixable. I just have to move her head. So yeah, that is her. I would definitely say if you like one of the characters to go out and get one because they're pretty amazing and they're very like statement piece. I had to buy like, I bought a new case. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I put some of my other like my Barbies and stuff in and some of my really like uh, favorite Monster High dolls in. And she takes up a whole shelf on the bottom. Like that's how big this doll is. She's like 16 inches, I'm guessing. And then probably like 18 to 20 with the case. So definitely go check them out in the store if you have a Disney store near you. Um, go look at them, like take it off, like get the Disney people to help you. And um, like really look it over before you buy it because it is quite expensive. But um, I'm really happy with it. So yeah, um, I hope you guys like this video and um, I'll see you guys later. Bye.